guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Ah, let's collect our daily logins and let's, thank you. Let's head straight over and see what is new. And as you can see guys, we have early access as well as the Cold War Sub-Zero Challenge, which is up and running. So guys, if you haven't seen this already, Cold War Sub-Zero is up and running. So let's have a look at what is required. So uh, Tower 1, Bronze Tier Characters Only, will give you 10,000 reward. Tower 2, Silver and Bronze Tier Characters Only, will give you 20,000 as reward. Tower 3, Silver tier characters only give you 35 souls as a reward. Tower 4, your team must be made up of only gold spec ops characters. Again, just use the filter to find out which ones are the gold spec op ones. If you haven't got any, just you might have to head over to the store and purchase one if you if you can. And the final one, Tactical Sonya Blade, that's a gold character, must be on your team in order to do that. Uh, head, again, head over to the store and have a look at the characters and tactical sonya so where is she she is uh there she is so she costs 300 souls if you don't have her so that's a way of getting her if you don't have her again you're gonna get cold war sub-zero and he is i would say i would say he is worth it uh let's have a quick look at his passive uh, so cold war sub-zero is a martial artist his passive is called arms race so increased team power generation and decreased opponents team power generation for each cold war team member a plus 50 for a plus 50 percent critical damage versus frozen opponents i mean oh, he's going to be he's, he sounds epic honestly i've battled against him and yeah all, all i can say is he's a very interesting character at the moment i'm on shokan's tower and the tower the challenge that i did was against the cold war team so i'm gonna let me just edit this team because uh, that kenshi was a bit crap uh, when i was trying to use him so i'm just gonna give you guys a little demonstration let me put on a more stronger character uh just dash in my good old Aaron. Uh, so yeah, there's my good old team. Uh, let's put in Raiden. So let's, no, I'll leave Scorpion actually. Uh, so yeah, you can see Cold War Sub Zero, Cold War Scorpion, as well as Cold War Sonya Blade. So a really, a really good Cold War team. Uh, this is match seventy. I don't know if anyone has completed the um, uh, Shokan's Tower yet. If so, let me know how you found it. Some of these challenges have been quite um, interesting <laughs> to say none nonetheless, um, but nothing too um, difficult. Um, at the moment so uh, let's just have a look so you can see they've all got the annoying Sonya blades <laughs> uh, thrust keeping them protected so I need to just get this out of the way with and just break the ice basically as you can see the amount of damage that these guys can do is crazy really trying to take out my character straight away and you just literally can't get any attacks on these guys sometimes they really know what they're doing a nice 98 percent damage on that one beautiful thank you Aaron black is it your turn oh he's gonna take away my power ouch don't catch him, don't catch him. Oh my god, she actually caught Aaron Black. Ouch. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Look at that. Jeez. It's over. Look at that. Look how much health they've all got. Literally, a Cold War team. All I can say is they are amazing. Look at that. I'm, I'm, it's over. <laughs> Terrible. Um, I'm not going to say I wasn't really trying, but I was trying a little. But yeah, really good team. So if you haven't got a Cold War team, guys, that's just giving you an example of how they are in action. Uh, so, okay, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the Cold War team. Let me know if you've completed the Cold War Sub Zero challenge if you have him on your collection already. And let me know what you think of him. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.